Okay, now for the jamun portion of this. I am going to have a top and a bottom that just helps to keep it well balanced. And four different kinds of jamuns. I'm gonna do little pebbles. For little pebbles, I'm just rolling it between my hands like so. You don't want them too little and you don't want them too big. some spirals. So I want to make sure that these coils are not too big. I'm just kind of starting it in between my hands. So it's kind of like a worm. And I'm going to curl that around. And there's my first spiral. And I'm going to keep going. order for it to turn out good, you really want to take your time with it. I'm going to cut a bunch of lines and I'm going to create a pattern here. So I'm going to pull these up and I'm going to start with a swirl and then I'm going to put Two vertical lines. I want them to be about the same height as those swirls. So I'm going to keep going with this. Now that I've created that pattern of the spirals and the two lines, notice I did put two lines here. I am going to just take my knife and make sure that I'm cutting off any extra space of those that are going too long. Just like so. How to make a twist. I'm gonna take a good sized chunk of clay again that I'm going to coil out. Okay, I made sure that I put quite a bit of water on this. I sprayed it as I went. I want this to be a pretty thin coil and I'm making it very long, not cracking. I'm gonna fold this coil in half and I'm gonna take I'm going to take it like so and I'm going to start to twist this very carefully. If it starts to crack and break, catch it, get it back together and I'm just twisting. You could use three and braid it, that would work too. Okay, now if I put this on here like this, there's going to be little cracks in it and it's pretty thick. So instead, what I wanna do is I want to push down on this. Push, push, Gently. I'm gonna flip it over, see what the other side looks like. Looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna pull this back. And I'm going to put this coil on top of my swirls and my vertical lines. And take and cut my ends off of that. And now I'm kind of smushing it together a little bit. Here's my top line. Remember, I had this one already made. I'm gonna put that one on top. It just makes it feel complete. I have a top coil and a bottom coil. Now, if you look at this, I have a whole bunch of empty spaces. 
And if I kept those <clears throat> empty spaces, my pot would not be able to hold water. And I want this to be a type of a vase, so I wanna make sure it can hold water. So I'm gonna take chunks of clay. So here's a big hunk of clay. I'm gonna take hunks of clay and I am going to just put it on top wherever those holes are, like so. All right, so I have all those little chunks of clay on there. And again, those were to, I'm going to use those to um, make sure there's no holes. So my next step is to smudge all of this together. And I'm gonna use that popsicle stick and I'm gonna smudge inward. All right, so there's one part. I'm gonna continue smudging all of this together. My four fingers and my thumb. And I'm just gonna go over it, smudging this together, kind of like frosting a cake. All right, so all smudged together. And drum roll, please. I'm gonna flip this up. Holy cows, check that out. Isn't that incredible? No more spaces, no more gaps. Just the beautiful diamond coils. Wow. Should that be the bottom or should it be flipped around this way? I think I like it this way. So I'm gonna get score lines on this. Okay, so now it's going to be picking this jamming up and attaching it onto the coil. So here we go, let's see. Again, I want to push down and kind of wiggle the two together. There's a big seam line in here, so I am going to just, got a little ball of clay here. I'm just going to start taking chunks of clay as a band-aid and I'm covering that seam and rubbing it in. You could make a coil and rub into the seam too. I find that the little pieces of clay work really well for this. I feel like, can you see me? Okay, I feel like they attach pretty well. I got quite a bit of clay in there. Um, where the seam was, was right here. And I put clay into that seam and attached that really well. So it all has this kind of continuous pattern. And I'm just going to look for any weak spots. Any weak spots that I might have in here, I'm going to use that Band-Aid of clay and I'm going to rub it in on the inside, making the inside nice and smooth. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? I like the pattern of the swirls with the lines and the little pebbles down here. I'm gonna keep going though. I'm gonna make this a little taller and um, I'll show you when I'm done.